Hey guys, uh, I'm Thay Udaykiran. So we are planning an interview series of our 25 batch that includes on-campus placements and off-campus placements too. So today we are going with the Zoho interview process, uh, the process that they have kept for our college while coming into on-campus. So uh, today uh, there is Varshit with us, Varshit Singhampalli. So you know uh, he is a very talented guy so don't underestimate him you know he is having a very good spontaneity and very good power grasping skills so i can i can surely bet on him you know in the coming years he'll be into a very good top mnc so hi varshit uh, so can you give us your intro uh, hi uday coming to my intro like as you already said i am a student from gayatri vidya parishad a tier 3 college from visakhapatnam from from the first year itself i started coding like uh, i love coding i keep it as a hobby and uh, i have solved the various problems across many platforms like lead code code chef code forces etc etc um and apart from coding i am i am a fun loving guy actually i love movies films and hanging out with friends uh, we've done many funny things together throughout the years so yeah a bit of like that guy a funny guy so yeah that's that's on with the intro like there's nothing much to learn about me so okay varshit uh, so let us quickly get into the process of the zoho interview uh, like what are the number of rounds and how many people did they qualify uh, for each round so can you give us just a quick statistics uh, okay oday coming to the number of rounds uh, there were four rounds conducted for us and the number of candidates appeared for the first round was 1100 and the first round was all about <coughs> aptitude and coding questions there were 20 questions and we were given 40 minutes to solve them it was a paper based round like uh, they gave us a question paper and we had to write answers in a paper it's not uh, like there were no options we have to write directly the answers like what are the values we are getting the 10 first 10 were uh, c questions uh, they are at gate level you know if you prepare for the it's not only based on gate but uh, they were most of them were simple and some of them were based on pointers and the print of statements you know you need to know the correct execution of the program like whatever operators and how do they execute and coming to the next part uh, 10 questions were aptitude uh, personally i felt that i needed a little bit of time because quantitative aptitude takes so much time to solve and those 10 questions were almost lengthy almost all the questions were lengthy so yeah that's it so the first round went well and out of 1100 candidates uh, i guess only 300 people qualified for the next round the second round is live coding live coding is nothing but you know they'll give you coding questions like based on the essay and you have to solve them but uh, the pattern here is a bit different uh, like it's not online it is conducted offline the people the recruiters from zoho came to our college and uh, the questions were also given on papers so you need to read the question from the paper and you need to implement it in your laptop like on local runtime environment uh, vs code i did it in vs code okay uh, actually there were many labs in which the second round was conducted and the the number of questions were dependent on the recruiters in that lab specifically i got four questions first he gave me a paper uh, that paper consisted of two questions back and forth the first question was an, an easy question It, it's nothing but the spiral matrix uh, like uh, they they they'll give a an, an cross m uh, like they'll give you an nm and you should build an n cross m spiral matrix okay. and like i i completely solved it and the next question was a bit like it's it's a bit lengthy the next question is evaluation expression evaluation you will be given an expression you need to evaluate it uh, i took some time in that question because you know after we solve that question the recruiter comes and asks give he gives us some edge cases you know we need to uh, print out the correct output for that so like it took time and the third and the third question was a binary search question it was an easy question okay. it's just uh, there's a rotated sorted array and you need to find the point at which it is rotated yeah. and the last question was 
based on DP. It, it is a hard sum. You could uh, you could check it out on lead code. It is wild card matching, and that's how the second round went. I solved four uh, all the four problems, and uh, okay, coming so to the third round. Yeah. Mm, so yes, there are uh, no uh, any test cases. So they will be giving you some edge cases. So if you pass that edge cases, so then the problem will be solved. So that's it. Yes. Yeah. That that's how it is done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he'll he'll tell us to proceed to the next question whenever we are ready. Okay, and uh, what is the difficulty of that questions? Like, uh, if anyone uh, you know taking reference from lead code, like how would you rate it? I'd say uh, some of the sums, like uh, some of the sums, were easy, but most of them were medium to hard level. Okay. Okay, and how many members participated and how many members qualified after that round? Yeah, out of that, like uh, out of the three hundred people who have appeared there, uh, I guess only fifty members were qualified to the third round. Okay, got it. And uh, mm. what are the next rounds? Okay, the third round is system design. It's uh, like uh, it's it. I don't. I won't say that it's a hard round. Like uh, you will be given to implement a big system. Uh, for example, I have been given library management system, and we have to implement it using. Classes and objects using any language of your wish. Like uh, I was given a library system in which the uh, test cases were: uh, we need to find if a book is present or not. We need to register a new candidate. We need to like uh, he, he if he wants to cancel his subscription, uh, we should add that option also. And he needs to lend and return books from the library. So uh, we should not directly get into coding. First of all. They will give us the question in papers. Like uh, the they'll be the question will be of four to five pages describing all the test cases and all, and we have to read the question properly and we have to explain the solution like how we are planning to build the solution to the recruiter. If he is satisfied with it, then we should go on with the system. Like we should start coding. Okay, for that. I took some classes. I took uh, I took class of a book, a new registrant, and all. You know that that's a three hour long round. Okay. I don't say it's a three hour long. If you complete all the test cases, you could leave simply. Okay. Uh, like and, I was. Yeah. Uh, one thing. Like, uh, what are the test cases for this round? Uh, will, yeah. This, uh, yeah. Will the recruiter the will give or? No, uh, like they already they are already mentioned in the paper. The test cases are like, okay, I I, I don't say them as test cases. Like uh, the, your code should completely run uh, fine. Like if you borrow a book and you again return it, it should be in the database and it should be available for the next person to lend. Okay, okay, okay. it's just like a uh, normal uh, execution of your code and just uh, testing yes. with the edge cases. Ah uh, yes, the, the 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 program should run fine. Yeah. for all kinds of inputs like uh, if you try to borrow the same book twice it should okay. display yeah. an error like that yeah. such kind of cases got it uh, i in this round i faced a bit of difficulty using maps but however i cleared that round too okay. and the next round is personal interview the next round was personal interview and, and out of members are qualified out of 30 members uh, sorry out of 50 members only 20 members were qualified to the personal interview okay. and i was one of them and uh, from the starting itself they divided the people into two groups uh, okay. group a and group b i was one in group a okay. so we were we were made to sit in separate labs from group b so uh, there was a gap there was a time gap between our interviews and the third round and during that time we were given some questions to solve like uh, they were okay. a bit hard questions okay so uh, can you discuss so, any question from them i don't think uh, i should discuss that question because that, that they mentioned it those were confidential sorry ode yeah that's fine okay uh, okay coming to the interview i uh, my, my whole interview went well uh, i sat in front of the recruiter and he made me comfortable asking simple questions like uh, my intro and tell tell okay. me about uh, your so you're talking about family. the last round uh, yes yeah uh, personal interview okay 
okay uh, like he made me comfortable uh, in the starting like he asked me about my intro my family my college etc etc and he he went through my resume and he asked me about the projects like uh, will you be able to answer if i ask questions on your project and yeah yes sir i could but you know i don't know why he didn't uh, he didn't ask any questions on my project okay and next he asked me some questions based on operating systems okay. i remember some of the questions like uh, he asked me about uh, what is virtual memory okay and uh, uh, what uh, like uh, let me remember uh, he asked me about uh, we buy we generally buy laptops right they will be named uh, with hexa core quad core on he asked me generally what is a core like what happens in a core yeah. and that was the question and i was also asked a dsa question he asked me that i have to perform a string to string mapping okay what like how do i do that okay uh first i answered uh, something like sir i'll assign uh, numbers to each character and i'll take consider it as an integer and after answering only i have realized it's not the optimal solution okay. then like uh, i thought for a bit and uh, the idea struck me like i struck the idea that's we uh, will implement it with try a try is nothing but a simple data structure you could check that out yeah. like he was impressed with my answer okay. and you know i was asked questions on like what is concurrency okay. uh, parallelism and actually zoho is a soft uh, like a cloud services company it is a product based company which provides cloud based services he asked me briefing about cloud services like what is infrastructure what is saas and all that okay i answered to almost all of his questions all right uh, yeah that's how the interview went and, and uh, so you made through the final round uh actually no surprisingly like i was surprised as well like uh, many of my friends not many uh, three of my friends sat with the same interviewer and they were also asked similar questions and they haven't answered more than half like they were they, they have answered only half of the questions correctly but surprisingly they made it to the company and i didn't make it okay. i don't know why okay uh, like uh... is there any particular reason behind that like yeah, what do you think i later uh, later i noticed like actually i have written gate 2024 and i achieved a rank of 971 maybe that has become the issue there like uh, companies don't like people to to hire people who written gate you know yeah so uh, the main reason is uh, your uh, you want to pursue higher studies so that you have mentioned yeah. in your resume so that made your reason yeah. Okay. that's the reason i think of my rejection okay and uh, what does the pay they offered uh, the package was the, the cdc uh, like they hired for both full time roles and just intern roles okay the package for intern roles was 8.4 lpa okay. cd the cdc was 8.4 lpa and okay. they have to do a 6 month or 8 month intern before that and uh, the internship stipend was around uh, 20k they mentioned okay. it okay and the work location is in uh, the work location is chennai okay in the head branch all right uh, yeah i think we have covered everything about soho and do you suggest anything uh, one who is preparing for soho and interview uh, attending the interview like is there any suggestions from you uh no this is not only particular to soho but uh, to crack any interview first of all a guy should be proficient with dsa as well as some knowledge on his or her project based on web development ai whatever like the basic stone is dsa there and then you also need to have some core knowledge uh, in operating systems computer networks database management systems and sql i recommend everyone to learn these two for interviews and the main cornerstone is dsa i believe is that okay okay and uh, how is the culture at uh, uh, zoho like do you know anything yeah the work culture is pretty good uh, like based on my friends review it was uh, stress uh, it was stressless 
so you know that's all i could say about that okay cool uh, yeah uh, that was nice talking to you varshit so uh, i hope yeah, we'll uh, will be interviewing one more session you know if you can track any other good company yeah sure uh, i could do it actually yeah yeah uh, see you